Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for part three of financing your food truck or financing your business. Of course, this channel is focused on more on food trucks, but you can also take this information and use it for funding any other business you may have because the the information is the same. It's just some things may change as far as who lends to do what. So that's really the only difference, but the information is the same. Uh, like I said, today is part three, and today we're going to be talking about collateral loans and micro loans and what are those two things so let's jump right into it and start off with talking about collateral loans so collateral loans are loans that are given based off of some sort of asset that you may have that has value value being equity so there are a handful of things you can use a lot of collateral loans that you see that are everyday household names are cars and houses right so when you go buy that car for example since that's more people buy cars and they do houses when you go buy the car for thirty thousand dollars that's what they're saying that the value of the car is worth on the retail market now i'm sure you've heard as soon as you drive the car to the parking lot it loses its value which you know is what it is could be true could not be true but the more that you pay down the car the faster that you pay down the car that value of the car can be a lot more than what you actually owe on it and the difference between those two is your equity so let me give you an example of numbers. So like I said, it, let's say that car is worth $30,000 and you pay down $10,000 of that loan in a fairly fast manner or uh, you know at a decent clip. Now during that time that you paid down that $10,000, you only lost $2,000 in equity, or I'm sorry, you only lost $2,000 in value. So that leaves you with a $28,000 value car with a balance of $20,000. So that $8,000 difference is equity that you own in that car. And you can go to banks and lending institutions and either refinance that car and get that $8,000 in cash back to you, which will then kick your balance back up to 28,000. But you, long story short is that $8,000 is there. And if you have the qualifications to refinance a loan you can get eight thousand dollars based on the value that's there in the car and use that for different things a lot of people like to use it to pay off credit cards or to you know get a loan to pay off some bills or get a loan to do whatever i mean you know there's no you use eight thousand dollars for what you use it for as long as you know you get that approval on it but you have value there that you can borrow against and then use that money to do what you see fit now let's use that same example in the in the house terms so let's say the house that you have is worth a hundred thousand dollars but you only owe fifty thousand dollars on it that means you have fifty thousand dollars in equity that totals out that 100k literally how people build portfolios and how they build wealth is they use that fifty thousand dollars in equity or invisible money and go buy other properties and go buy assets that then generate passive income or it doesn't even have to be passive income. They just generates other income that generates and builds wealth for people. This is how the game is played as far as that goes. So if you have a house and you have equity in a house, you can go to the bank. If you have, like I said, the qualifications that you need to get this done, it's called a line of credit or a home equity loan. You can go and get one of those, take that money, and then go and completely start a business like a food truck or like something else and use that house as the collateral to do that. Now I can tell you that these kind of loans, banks really love these kind of loans. Why? Because they now have some asset that they can go and get if the uh, loan goes bad. So if you default on that $8,000 car loan that they gave you to do whatever, they can go and take that car that the loan was written off of and either get their money back in full, make a profit, or get some of their money back. Either way, they're not going to lose as much as they actually put out. They really love house loans because those things are super cash generators. So, you know, if they if you have a fifty thousand dollar mortgage and you go take a, a line of credit or a home equity loan out for the other fifty and you default on that loan, they're coming in foreclosing on the house and taking the house that's worth a hundred thousand and either sell it for a markup, they know to do whatever they want, they own the house at that point. So this is what you have to understand. On the other side of it, getting that loan is if this loan goes bad. They're going to come and get that asset that they wrote the loan off of to recoup the money that they gave you initially, be it a house, be it a car, be it art, be it, you know, anything. So that's really the gist of what uh, collateral loans are. You know, it's not too complex or not too, you know, anything like that. It's pretty cut and dry. 
whatever you have that has value, you can pull that value out into a loan and then use that money, that loan money to flip it into whatever it is that you need to flip it into. If you have something that has value and you don't have a balance on it, then that's completely 100% equity. So I gave the examples of a $50,000 mortgage and a $100,000 house means you have $50,000 in equity. Well, if you have a $100,000 house and no mortgage, well, now you got $100,000 sitting there in equity that you can also use. Banks like to lend a percentage on it because they want to have value. They want to have equity themselves. So if you have a $100,000 house, they'll say, we'll lend you 85% loan to value, which means if the value is $100,000, we'll lend you 85%. So that's $85,000. And honestly, banks will lend, will do that 85%, what's called LTV or 85% loan to value. And it's not even, that number can vary depending on the institutions. Some banks could be 75, some can be 100. Like, you know, each bank is different. They still will lend that 75 to 85% LTV, even if you have a mortgage. So let's use that same house example. It's worth 100,000, you owe 50,000. If they do the loan at 85% LTV, that means they'll lend you 85,000 on the 100,000. So the difference between your mortgage and the LTV amount is $35,000. Why would they do that? Well, if the loan went bad, they have a $100,000 in valued house. They have to try to recoup 85,000. If they put it on the market to sell it, they can do that at a profit if they sold it for its full value. It's just business. So be prepared if you go and you're trying to do a collateral loan. Understand that there are small, very small percentages do it at 100% loan to value. It's ideally going to be in the 75 to 85% range. So whatever that value is, take that 75 to 85%. That's what the loanable amount is. And if you have some sort of mortgage or note on it, subtract that out. The difference between that is what you can be given in cash. Okay, so those are collateral loans and the examples of how to use collateral to get the money that you need. Now let's talk about microloans. You may or may not have ever heard of microloans. They're not necessarily a household name and they don't, you know, people don't talk about microloans nearly as often as they talk about traditional loans or credit cards or mortgages and stuff like that. But microloans are loans that are in the smaller range of funding. So, I, and when I mean smaller, I'm talking microloans are like usually they range between three to ten thousand dollars. So, if you're going to start looking at a microloan, you probably already have some stuff in place already, and you just need some help to get you over the finish line because ten thousand dollars and you're trying to build out everything to get your food truck on the road. It's not going to get you everything you need unless you just have somebody who's just unloading and they just want to get rid of it and they sell it to you for pennies and pennies and pennies on the dollar and it's turnkey. I've never, you know, you're not going to take $10,000 and buy your truck, get all your equipment, get, you know, your mark, get everything. You're not going to do that for $10,000. So this sort of loan is, is what I would say is like a cash injection that helps you get more things from what you already have that helps you get to the finish line for this smaller dollar amount type of loan. So not everybody, not every financial institution offers microloans. You're gonna have to hop on Google and do a search and find out who can offer these to you. There may be a local incubator or some sort of place that wants to help small business get started. Those are the most common places that you'll find these kind of loans, but they are available. And once again, you just have to be have what you need in place to qualify which once again, all the previous videos that I've put up here to help you get along, if you do those and you get that stuff in place, when you go to these places with that information already figured out, with that information locked in and loaded, it gives you a better opportunity, a better chance. It gives them more belief in you that you're taking the time and, and dotting the I's and crossing the T's that'll get you closer to success. That'll get them their money back. And they also have a story to tell about how we help this person go from Maybe not A to Z, but from M to Z, you know, because like I said, these aren't huge loans that they'll give you. So um, the the gist of micro loans are they're smaller in size. Like I said, they're usually in the three to ten thousand dollar range, but they can help you out a lot if that's all you need to get to the finish line for what you need to do. So honestly, guys, um, that's basically the gist of it. Um, this video is not nearly as long as some of the other ones because the detailed information isn't as complex as some of the others have been. Uh, once again, you know, a collateral loan is just basically looking at how much value do you have in an asset? How much will the bank lend against that value? How much can you take home to do what you need to do with it? Microloans, smaller in size, they'll help you out a lot. 
if you are pretty much already in the process and you just need a little bit more to get done what you need to get done, um, I would not advise that you start with the micro loan because if you can't get the rest of the money that you need to finish up, now you're stuck with that three to ten thousand dollar loan and you have no business and it's just a bill that could potentially go bad. So I would not advise. Well, first of all, number one, this is not financial advice. This is just some information to help guide you along the way. But two, I would not advise that you start looking at micro loans. I would advise you look at micro loans towards the back end to help you get to the finish line. Maybe with inventory, once you already have everything done, maybe just to help you get the last little bit of things on the truck finished. But I would advise you not to start with a micro loan. You finish with micro loans if you need to get one at all. I appreciate you guys um, jumping on this video and listening to this one. If you have any questions or any thoughts or anything, just leave them in the comments. I always get back to uh, people who comment. If you know anyone who needs clarification on these sort of uh, funding opportunities or these sort of funding um, strategies, send it to them. Um, you know, if you guys haven't subscribed or liked the, uh, the channel yet, please do. I got a lot more coming to you to help you get from the beginning to the end successfully. Like I said, build that momentum that you need without all the costly mistakes that a lot of people have that sometimes lead them never getting to the finish line or if they do, they're there's so many mistakes and there's so much in debt where they didn't need it. It didn't need that to happen. So that's the goal of this information and this channel. So I hope this helps and we will see you guys on the next one.